Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate the use of creating the default methods inside interfaces. So let's get started. From Java 8 onwards, from Java 8 onwards, we can create the default methods inside interfaces. What does this mean? Let me explain. If you compare till Java 1.7, what is the state of the interface? And from Java 1.8, that is Java 8 onwards, what is the state of the interface? Let me compare here, okay? I'll put the interfaces here. Here also I'll put interfaces, okay? If you focus on Java 1.7, we have interfaces and abstract classes, right? Abstract classes are known for partial abstraction. Partial abstraction, what does it mean? Here inside the abstract classes, you can create the methods having the method body and without having the method body, okay? You can only declare the methods and also at the same time you can define the methods. Method having the method body and without having the method body can be created inside the abstract class. That is partial abstraction. But coming to the methods that are created inside the interfaces, none of the methods inside the interfaces can have a method body. That means only declaration of the methods is possible in interface. That's why we call it as full abstraction. We cannot create any method body for any of the methods inside the interface. But coming to the Java 1.8, okay, that is Java 8 onwards, default methods got introduced in interface. We can create the default methods inside the interfaces because of which it's no more full abstraction, guys. It's no partial abstraction, okay? So that means using default methods, we can provide the method body. We can define the methods. We can provide the body to the methods, okay? If you specify default, keyword before the methods, then you can provide the method body even inside the interfaces. Apart from providing the method body inside the abstract classes, you can also provide the method body for the methods that are there inside the interfaces from Java 1.8. That is all because of default methods case, okay? It's no more full abstraction. Default methods in interfaces from Java 1.8 onwards can have method body, okay? But why Java has introduced this default methods concept from Java 1.8 onwards, that is Java 8 onwards, why this default methods got introduced, why full abstraction is no more in interfaces. There is a reason guys, okay, there is a reason, okay. So to understand the reason, I'll open this Eclipse ID, I'll create some, okay, I have the latest version of Java guys, which is above 1.7, I'll create a interface here. So I'll create an interface, say, animal animal interface, click on finish. Now inside this animal interface, okay, if I create a normal method, void, okay, void, eat, okay. And if I try to create a body, if I try to specify the method body for this method, normal method, I'm getting a compiler error saying abstract methods do not specify a method body. That means interface is not allowing you to create a method body for the normal methods, but Again, I'll create one more method, let's say Lex, okay? And I'll try to create method body again. Again, the compiler is shouting at you saying that abstract methods do not specify a body. There's a way to overcome this problem, guys. Simply add the default keyword here. Now it will allow, okay? You see, when you create the default specified methods inside the interface, you can provide the method body. Okay, system.out.println, animal, all animals, will have four legs, I can write down, okay? So like this, you can create the default methods inside the interface from Java 1.8 onwards. I'm using the latest version of Java, fine, okay. So the thing is, why these default methods are required, okay? Why the default methods are introduced in an interface from Java 1.8, that is Java 8 onwards, let me explain. Let's say without default methods, what will happen? So let's say uh, this particular animal interface only have one abstract method for now. Let me create some child classes for this abstract, uh, um, for this particular interface, animal interface. Let me create some child classes which are implementing this animal interface. So I'll create different type of animals now. I'll create a dog, click on finish, and I'll just move it somewhere. So I'll just move it to the right side. And uh, what I will do is I will just uh, implement, okay? Dog implements. I will make this dog a child class of this animal interface. So dog implements, I'll say animal. 
Okay, so the moment I implement the animal, you see I'm getting an error saying that uh, this dog is a subclass of this interface. So it has to implement the abstract methods of the interface. Okay, or the mouse, you see, add unimplemented methods of the parent interface. And the moment I click on this, you see, it is coming. Okay, whatever the abstract method that is there in the parent interface coming here. Okay, so here I'll write down a print statement stating, I'll, uh, I'll just provide here something like uh, system.out.println. Okay, uh, dog is eating. Okay, dog is eating. Done. Now, similarly, I'll create one more child class for this animal interface. I'll just name this cat. Name this as cat. Okay, click on finish. And here also, I'll make this cat implements implements animal. Okay, animal. That's fine. Okay. So here also, I'm getting the same error. It's it's saying that uh, we have to implement the Okay, animal, save it. Add an implemented methods here also. I have to say system dot out dot print ln. I'll just write a sample statement saying cat is eating. That's okay. I'll create one more thing. Like uh, I'll say new class. I'll name this class as frog. Click on finish. I'll say frog implements again, implements the parent interface that is animal again. Okay. Again, we have to implement the unimplemented, unimplemented abstract methods inside the parent interface that is eat. Okay. Add an implement again here. I'll say system.out.println sample statement I'm writing frog is eating. Cool. So far, so good. Okay. We have three child classes for this particular interface. I'll create one more guys. Okay. So class, I will say fish. Similarly, I will say fish implements animal. Fish implements animal. Again, the same thing. We have to add the unimplemented methods of the, okay, I'm doing this with an intention, guys. I'm creating a lot of child classes for the parent animal interface with an intention, guys. So bear with me. So Fish is eating. Done. So far, so good, guys. Okay, we have good number of uh, child classes for the animal interface. That's okay. I'll close all this stuff. Now, one fine day, what I will do is I will add one more one more method in an interface. Okay. After creating so much of subclasses for this parent interface, one fine day I decided to add one more method. Okay, one more abstract method. The moment I create this abstract method inside the animal interface, all the child classes are giving the error. Can you see that? The moment I create an abstract method inside an interface, new abstract method after a long time, one find I decided to add one more abstract method inside a animal interface. I want to modify the interface by adding a new abstract method. What happened guys, all the child classes which are dependent on this animal interface, parent interface are giving the error. Let's say, let's assume the scenario where we are working on a very complex and very large project where for a particular interface, there are hundreds of child classes specified. Okay, assume that in real time, there is a very large and complex project where for a particular interface, there are hundreds of child classes. Just by modifying an interface by adding a single abstract method, will disrupt everything, okay? Will destroy everything, right? You see all the child class, all the hundreds of those child classes in that very complex project will give an error in the same way. That is a problem, guys. You cannot modify the interface. If you have to modify, lot of maintenance work. You have to go through each and every child class of this interface and update. That is a problem till Java 1.7. But Java guys have decided to resolve this from Java 1.8. That is from Java 8 onwards. They introduce something known as default methods. So if in case, after a long time, when you when the project grows very big and uh, you have a lot, lot number of uh, child classes for a particular interface, and if you still want to modify that interface by adding some methods, then instead of creating that abstract method, at that time, you'll create default wide flex. Okay, understood guys? And save. You are introducing a new method after a long time, 
when hundreds or hundreds of methods hundreds of uh, child class are there for this interface still there is no problem okay till still you can add this default method okay without any problem you can add guys are there any child classes which are giving any error now no because this one has a method body default method has a method body so here i'll simply say system.out.println okay i'll say animal has four flex okay all animals have four legs i'm writing this here okay this is possible guys you see without any problem i am able to modify the interface by adding a new method after a long time okay when the project is already grown and the project has already gone very big and uh, it has become very complex still i am able to add the methods i am able to uh, modify the interface by adding the default methods that is the case guys now there may be another problem that is you see fish doesn't have any legs okay by creating this method inside the interface okay there is a problem right you mentioned all the animals have four legs but this is not all the case for all the child classes which are implementing this interface so in that case guys what we'll do is inside the fish class we are going to override this default method how open the fish and say override that okay public void legs okay i'm going to override the default method in the parent interface i am saying i add the rate over right this is possible guys not a problem okay system dot out dot i'll simply say fish doesn't have any legs okay fish doesn't have any legs all the other animals can have legs okay i'm not going to create this override method in the cat dog and frog because cat dog and frog will have four legs but coming to the fish it is a special category where fish doesn't have any legs so fish doesn't have any legs okay like this you can override also you can override the default methods also so hope guys you understood uh, the actual use of creating the default methods inside an interface okay if the default methods are not there if one fine day after uh, the project grows very big if you create an abstract method inside an interface by modifying the interface all the child classes which are implementing the interface will throw the error and it is a very headache task or the lot of maintenance where you have to go to each and every child class of the interface and try to uh, implement those methods now you don't have to now the child classes doesn't have to actually implement the methods right right uh, is the child class cat is implementing the default method no right it's not required it's not required okay that's the case so such kind of things if you want to achieve you have to create the default methods inside an interface which is possible from java 1.8 that is java 8 onwards this is possible guys okay so yes default methods can be overridden i have already demonstrated it for you so that's it guys thank you bye